folks, uh, my next guest I've had on the show before, I absolutely loved her. She has some recipes here that's guaranteed to spice things up in your bedroom. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. So back with some love potions of the season. Please welcome mixologist Lauren. All right. Now, Lauren, today we're talking alcoholic aphrodisiacs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alcoholic aphrodisiacs. Not oysters. <laughs> what else is an aphrodisiac? Oh. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. The oysters. Oysters. Yeah, yeah. Diamonds. Di <laughs> I, I love, I, I love women so much. Diamonds? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that'll, that'll spice up the bedroom this evening. All right, so let's go, what do we got? All right, the first one I have here is the Aphrodite. And the Aphrodite has uh, ginger in it. Ginger's the aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna promote circulation and sensitivity to uh, the erogenous zones. And then to, to the erogenous zones, <laughs> you, you know, just the, <laughs> the, the oh, nether she said, <laughs> To your rod in your zone. <laughs> oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You know, you know, you know. Hey, hey, hey! Didn't I tell y'all at the beginning of the show? Just relax and enjoy yourself. These just jokes. I'm telling you what it sound like she said. What is all these Christian moments you keep having? <laughs> I didn't cuss. I didn't say anything crude. I'm telling you what I thought she was. These are English words. I didn't say anything ridiculous. Y'all go, what y'all ain't gonna do up in here is judge the jokes. <laughs> now, you just laugh at the jokes or go on home. I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> I'll go to hell if I laugh at that. Erogenous, why would you think of a rod? <laughs> well. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Lauren. All right. This is ginger? Yeah, so this is ginger. It's got uh, some meat in there too, so which is a honey wine. So that is going to... Yes. Honey wine, yeah, so the honey wine, you know, the honey uh, really promotes the sexual pleasure because vitamin B promotes testosterone, the boron promotes estrogen. So, you know, it, just, it gets things going in the bedroom, yeah. right? Right, yeah, that's Let's what go. it's for, right? <laughs> I don't really care what it tastes like. <laughs> if it's gonna do all that. That's right. Guaranteed. It's good, huh? That tastes pretty good. Yeah, what, what yeah. Is, what's in it again? Yeah, so it's got uh, mead, pear vodka, the ginger liqueur, and a little bit of lemon oh, juice. Oh, ginger is a liqueur? Yeah, I got the ginger liqueur, and then we got a little bit of ginger on top. I do this, I, you got a little excited about that one. So we get the ginger on top here, get a little bit of fresh ginger scent. It's got the juices, really aromatic. That's really good, I yeah, like that. Yeah, thanks. All right, okay, and then like uh, over here we have, I call this the agua dulce. And which means sweet water in Spanish. And the primary ingredient is... I won't say what I thought you said this time. I, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, People this are is sensitive. A, yeah. What we're performing in front of the <laughs> 700 Club. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the... Uh... I can't do no damn jokes because everybody <laughs> extra sensitive. Okay, what is this again? I know, right? The, uh, the agua dulce. We've got watermelon, tequila, uh, a little agave. Yeah, I know, right? And I'm topping it off with uh, some tomato juice just on top, just a little bit. And so the watermelon is one of the aphrodisiacs in here. And watermelon, I know you know this, but it's referred to as the natural Viagra, right? Watermelon? Obviously. Watermelon, I'm serious. So it has an amino acid that dilates blood vessels. What? <laughs> yeah. Watermelon? <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't lie to you, Steve. It's true. Well, that explains these seven kids I got. <laughs> I'd be dead. Because I can assure you, I done ate more watermelon than anybody in this room right here. 
that's amazing. Yeah, and then you know what? I got to add a little bit of a sweet basil on top. That's going to be our last aphrodisiac in this cocktail. Sweet basil boosts fertility. It increases the sex drive. Really? Yeah. And oh, for well, centuries, hell. actually. <laughs> You're proving my point, Steve. You put... Let's just go and get that started now. <laughs> Kick in by the time I get home. You know what? You... Baby, what then got into you? Why your breath smell? <laughs> why, why your breath smell like trail mix? <laughs> that ain't trail mix, that's basil. Lay down, come on. You know, for centuries, women would put basil on their breasts because it was thought that the scent would just attract <laughs> men so much. <laughs> Fellas, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> two leaves. <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> Get your love life jumping this <laughs> evening, lady. Couple basil leaves. <laughs> Boy, that's sexy right there. I that's learned right. so much with you today. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you can't even taste the tomato juice in here. Yeah, you know, it's just really light on top. It's just accents that you add just a little bit more acid to that. Tone down the sweetness. She's a professional mixologist. <laughs> right. She really does yeah. a wonderful, like you go to her place yeah. and you tell them your favorite flavors and they make the drink for you based on what your favorite foods are. She's really good at this. Yeah. That is outstanding. <laughs> All right, you got one more drink. I got one more, I got one more. So uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be making this together. This is yeah. called the Love Potion number nine and a half. And the primary liqueur in this is Strega. So I'm gonna add just a couple ounces in there. And Strega is an Italian herbal liqueur. And there's a legend that goes along with it. The legend is that uh, three Italian witches went, <laughs> came around a magical walnut, I swear, and then they cast a spell witches. on the Strega. Witches. <laughs> Witches. Witches. Get this right, okay? Go ahead. And, Came uh, around a what? They get magical walnut, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> See right there? See, you bring these people on my show. <laughs> they say stuff like this, and I'm supposed to hold off because y'all bougie ass is here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, we got three witches standing around a walnut. That's right. Write your own right. jokes, folks. <laughs> okay, so what happens? Well, uh, the spell that they cast on it is that whatever couple enjoys Strega together will forever be in love. Aww. Right? Oh, okay, that's cool. Also, the main ingredient in Strega is saffron, which just really boosts the libido. So that's saffron. a plus, saffron, yeah. Right. So in this cocktail, we're gonna add some simple syrup. I've got that there, some coconut cream, sherry and pomegranate juice. And then pomegranate juice is going to be our last aphrodisiac that we put in here. And uh, that lowers the cortisol, raises the testosterone, and uh, really increases the sex drive. So nothing wrong right. with that, right? Yeah. That's right. All right. Give that a good shake. See, that's aphrodisiac <laughs> right there. <laughs> You get in front of your man and you do that right there? <laughs> I just, I just, hey man, where have I been all these years? I could have been on daytime TV. All right, that's there how it go, right? right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's oh, all your drinks taste good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm a, thank you. <laughs> End of this season right here, I'll be a full-blown <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> I'll be in AA meetings and everything. Oh, no. I'm Steve Harvey. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> but I'm hot too, though. <laughs> That's pretty good. This lady right here is the best mixologist 
on planet Earth. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta tell you, man, this lady really put some really unique stuff. Thank you very much, Lauren. Hey, look, uh, for more on these love potions and the recipes, you can make all these at home. Just head over to steveharveytv.com. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>